Hey guys, welcome to the live stream. Uh, not one that I really wanted to have to do. As you can see, I was not ready. Um, I was going to come on later, <clears throat> excuse me, and talk about Athena and Madalena. And um, yeah, Oki Crime News, thank you. And yeah, I, I just heard. So that's why we're here. Um, I just got a breaking news alert and I jumped on here obviously before I was ready. And I wanted to read it to you. So it says, Ivan Adams allegedly killed Athena Brownfield on Christmas Day, court documents say. Newly released court documents allege that a caregiver looking after Athena Brownfield killed the four-year-old Cyril girl on Christmas Day and buried her near Rush Springs. The court documents say Alicia Adams confessed to investigators on January 12th that her husband, Ivan Adams, beat Athena around midnight on December 25th while at their home on Nebraska Avenue in Cyril. Athena was not moving, and the documents say her eyes were barely open. Ivan Adams allegedly then laid the four-year-old on the ground and punched her at least three more times in the chest, according to the court documents. Athena never moved after that, the court documents state. The court documents say Ivan Adams left the home around 1 a.m. on December 26th with Athena. When he returned... The documents say he told Alicia Adams that he buried her near a fence line that was next to their old home in Rush Springs and that he had placed a large broken branch over the burial site. Alicia Adams' confession led authorities to believe that Ivan Adams committed first-degree murder. The court documents say phone records show that Ivan Adams left the home on Nebraska Avenue between 4.15 and 5.30 a.m. on December 26th and traveled to near Rush Springs. The investigation into Athena's disappearance started the afternoon of January 10th after a mail carrier found Athena's five-year-old sister outside their home and called police. The sister told investigators that she had been home alone and was tired of being alone, according to the court documents. Ivan Adams was arrested on January 12th in Arizona and is being held at the Maricopa County Jail on a $1 million bond. Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigation officials said he is awaiting extradition to Oklahoma. Alicia Adams was also arrested on January 12th on two counts of child neglect. She was later booked into the Caddo County Jail. OSBI officials said Athena and her sister lived with Ivan and Alicia Adams and that they were related to Alicia. Authorities said the children's biological parents have been cooperating with the investigation. So there you go. Um, yeah. So if you go back... And you think about everything that we've talked about with these caregivers and little Athena. That means that this happened on Christmas Day. That they went on and they celebrated New Year's Eve. And we know that the beauty influencer, Alicia went and had her magical weekend in Oklahoma City with her new boyfriend. And we thought it was bad when we thought that she was doing all of this and leaving those kids, right? Think about how bad it is that she went and did this, had this magical weekend with her new boyfriend and she knew Athena had been killed on Christmas and buried by Ivan. Think about that. And Ivan 
packed up their four biological kids and went on this trip to Arizona that, from everything I hear, was uh, planned previously to go visit, I believe it was Alicia's dad. And he went on out there with the kids like, you know, everything's fine. Everything's normal. And um, left Adina behind by herself at that house eating pancake syrup, remember? And the whole while, you know, these two so-called caregivers are just out there you know, living their lives. Like, oh well, shit happens, right? Look at this little girl on the screen next to me. Look at this beautiful little girl. Four years old. What could a four-year-old have possibly done to anger a grown-ass adult male to do something so awful on Christmas and then just take her and bury her out by a fence line at their former home. There, there's nothing. There, there's nothing. Nothing at all. You know, I, I had hoped that originally, you know, when this was all breaking... She had wandered off and we were going to find her. And then, you know, it didn't seem like that was going to happen. And then they turned this into a recovery operation rather than, you know, we're going to go out there and rescue her, right? And I thought, okay, well, you know, maybe there was an accident. You know, maybe something happened and then it, it's like this tragic accident. No. Doesn't sound like an accident to me. You don't accidentally beat a four-year-old to death. You just don't. And she's laying there and Alicia's like, she's not moving and her eyes are barely open. And instead of grabbing that baby and running or picking up your phone and calling 911 to get this baby some help and... I don't know. Was she still with us then? I don't know. But you could have tried to help her. But no, you didn't do any of that. You proceeded to let your husband beat her in the chest three more times and finish her off. And then you let him leave your house with that baby and bury her at your former residence and you still don't call anybody and she's not going to be able to to play this oh i was scared of ivan card with me mm -mm. no and you know why because she went on her you know hot weekend in oklahoma city with a new boyfriend so she wasn't scared enough to go off with this new boyfriend so you're not going to be able to tell me you were too scared to call the the, the cops, you know, call somebody. Mm -mm. That's not going to fly, sweetheart. Mm -mm. No way. And I swear if they don't charge her with more than two counts of child neglect. I mean, come on. I mean... Okay, those are your, like, your original, like, your holding charges, if you will. That gets her in jail, right? And you accomplish what you were trying to do. You get her to talk. Don't make a deal with this woman for talking and only give her two child neglect charges. She needs something worse. Fine, if you want to just give her child neglect for Adina, even that seems wrong but okay but when it comes to athena alicia needs more charges i agree pale rider i hope they they are both in jail and i hope they rot in jail um the 
caregiver, the female, is in jail here in Oklahoma. The caregiver male that did this horrible thing is in jail in Maricopa County, Arizona, but he is being extradited back here to Oklahoma. And what's what's heartbreaking to me is Oki Crime News is in here right now. I think you're still in here. And, you know, I was ready to drive my ass, I think it's two hours maybe for me, to help. To try to do something to help, right? And OSBI came out last night and they basically were like, no, we don't want anybody to come and help because you could, you know, disturb potential evidence. And and I get that. But Oki Crime News was ready to go to. Oki Crime News is like, you know, road trip this weekend. You know? And and I I was down. Like I haven't been feeling good, but I was down. I was like absolutely, you know, let's let's do this. Let's go. And You know, I was even thinking of of trying to do like a fundraiser to do something for the authorities that have been searching for her, you know, get them lunch or, you know, send them some food or something because they've been doing so much work trying to bring her home. You know, I was thinking of trying to do something like that. And, and I still might because, you know, they haven't found her yet. And so the work continues. And hi, Ava. Yeah, I agree. It's, it's, I don't know if you guys can see, but like, I'm, I'm shaking. Like I got, I got the alert. And like I said, I was going to go live this afternoon and I was going to talk about Athena and Madalena Kojakari, who's missing out of North Carolina. I was going to kind of combine both because there's not a lot of information in either case, right? So I was going to kind of combine both and that way it would make a longer live, like, you know, an hour, hour and a half that we could kind of discuss, you know, similarities and, and things like that. And then I'm sitting there and like I said, you can see I'm, I'm not, I'm not ready. My makeup is not even really done. My hair is not done. And I just, I got so angry when I read that breaking news and I'm like, I, I, if you've been on my channel for a while, you know, I say that cases are more important than faces. So like, if you don't want to look at me, just listen and turn me off, you know, like just don't look at the picture, whatever. This case is more important than how my face looks right now. So, um, I was like, I have to go on now i can't i can't wait like the longer i sit here and stew on this the worse it's going to be and uh yeah pale rider i i guess not because apparently she confessed to that she was arrested on the 12th and from what i'm reading i haven't seen the actual documents yet but according to what she said i guess i even told her that he had buried her along the fence line at their former property in Rush Springs. And authorities went out there. There was this big search in Rush Springs. And I guess they didn't find her. And then, hold on, let me see if they're going to stop. Okay, got lucky. Um, then they returned back to the house where they had been living in Surreal. And they had a search warrant and were searching the house. Now, maybe that was for evidence that, you know, where the beating occurred or something to that effect. I don't know. But like I said, they had been out there. They had been out to Rush Springs. So his, in his documents, in his probable cause, it said that the evidence was found on his cell phone. And from what I'm reading here, it sounds like they've got the ping showing that he was in that area. Maybe where he told her isn't exactly where she is. 
but it sounds like he was in that area at that time. So I would expect to see the search continue out in the Rush Springs area. I don't even know if I still have... Not sure if this video is the one. Where the it, it shows. The disappearance of Hang on. Athena Brownfield goes before a judge in Arizona on a murder complaint. He is in jail there right now, and investigators are still searching for little Athena. Our News 9's Felice Romero joins us live right now in Surreal with details on his arrest and also the growing investigation. Felice? Her two caretakers have been arrested. Court filings out of Maricopa County, Arizona, say one of them, Ivan Adams, was arrested on a pending murder charge. It's a case garnering national attention. It's horrifically shocking. Um, like I said, this is this is a nice one of those nice little rural towns. Not a whole lot happens. Four-year-old Athena Brownfield was reported missing Tuesday. Law enforcement agencies and residents flocking to the small town of Surreal, searching for the little girl, last seen in a pink butterfly sweater and pink pants. Probably one of the craziest instances we've had here in a while. Um, it certainly brought a lot of chaos to the community. Her older sister found wandering near their home. A postal carrier found the five-year-old, and that's when police were notified. Both of their caretakers now behind bars. Alicia Adams arrested on two complaints of child neglect. Court records show her husband, Ivan Adams, was arrested in Arizona on an outstanding felony warrant for murder in the first degree out of Oklahoma and child neglect. Trash service in town was suspended. That was in an effort to search for additional clues as to Athena's whereabouts. Right now, I want everyone to understand and we're still looking for her. Ivan was arraigned on Friday and is waiting extradition to Oklahoma. A court filing says evidence was found on a cell phone in his possession. In the meantime, agents have conducted a search at the Adams' former residence in Rush Springs. We were over the scene as investigators used drones Friday as they continue to look for Athena. Mm -mm. Now, Ivan is a former Marine. We are not sure when he will be back here. Reporting live in Surreal, Feliz Romero, Oklahoma Zone, News 9. All right, so that kind of shows you the search they were doing at their former residence in Rush Springs. But I hope they find, I hope they find her. Um, the four biological kids from what i understand are in protective custody in arizona and adina athena's biological sister is in protective custody here in oklahoma and all of those poor babies apparently the the sister the two sisters had been staying with them for at least a year and so all of those kids, you know, they're being raised basically like siblings, you would think, but I'll get into that in a minute. So all of these kids have to be wondering what the heck is going on? Where is she? Why isn't she here? They have to have questions. So now the four bio kids have lost Athena, Adina, and their two parents. You know, in the end, the, the ones that are going to suffer the most are these kids. And <clears throat> I don't know how they were being treated while they were in the care of the caregivers. Because Alicia, you know, the self-proclaimed beauty influencer, she's obsessed with TikTok, right? And... She's making all these TikTok videos, and in one, I see one of her kids. And on, I believe it was her Instagram, she got pictures, and you see her four kids, but there's no pictures of these two girls. So, I don't know. And if you're new to the case, there, this was not a official, like, legal custody agreement type situation. We don't know all the ins and outs. From what I understand, 
bio mom, her name is Jasmine. Bio dad is Wes. Wes is a Marine, and I believe he is stationed out of state, possibly like Jacksonville. I've heard, I can't confirm, but I've heard he gave up his parental rights, but don't quote me on that because it's rumor, which the rumors are flying, right? And from what I can tell, Jasmine had substance abuse issues. So it seems to be one of those situations that it was kind of like, um, I can't handle these kids. Will you take care of them for me? I don't know if there was a time set that she was going to come back and get her children. But I do know that in the time since she left the children with Alicia and Ivan, Jasmine got remarried in, I think it was October she remarried. She kind of went on with her life. So I don't know if there was like a time, you know, when she got her life together or whatever, that she was supposed to go back and retrieve her children. In my mind, you know, at first I'm like, well, it seemed like she was trying to do the right thing. Instead of doing what Ivan apparently did in hurting those children. She tried to take her kids and put them somewhere safe. That was the way I was looking at it. And I get knocked all the time for trying to be like positive and optimistic, right? But I was looking at it like, you know, okay, she's, she's trying to do what's best for her kids while she gets her shit together. But thinking about it now and looking at like, she went and got married. She got new tattoos. You know, very um, Casey Anthony-like, if you will. Um, why didn't she take her babies back? And I'm wondering if down the line... Now, OSBI has said the bio parents have been cooperating with the investigation. They haven't been arrested. They haven't been charged with anything. But is there going to be down the line an opportunity for maybe them to be charged with abandonment. Like I said, these kids have been in the care of the other two for at least a year. I've heard at least a year is the official OSBI statement. I've heard a year and a half, and I've heard as much as two years. So I don't really know. But that honestly is not my biggest concern right now. I mean, it is a concern because had she not left these babies with these two Athena would hopefully still be with us right but my concern right now is the two freaking caregivers so-called caregivers um like I said I I understood when they arrested Alicia and they said the charges were two charges of child neglect okay Okay, I get it. You ran off to Oklahoma City with your new man and left, according to her, left all six kids with Ivan. She's like, when I left, I didn't leave them alone. I left them with Ivan. That was her story. And then Athena goes missing and they charge her with child neglect. I'm like, okay, I guess that makes sense. That's all they've got right now right because they're still searching and and there's no body there's no no proof of of what crime occurred right so i'm like oh, i mean at least they got her on something and and her butt is sitting in a jail cell right then it comes out that they have arrested ivan and his charge is one count of child neglect and one count of first degree murder and then you have to be like, well, wait, what? So then I'm thinking, okay, something must have happened to Athena after dipshit um, Alicia left with her new man. Like, did Ivan get mad and do something to her? And be like, I'll show you. You leave me with these kids and this is what happens kind of thing. That 
When I saw there was evidence on his cell phone, I thought maybe he like sent her an angry text saying, you know, you left me with these kids and this is all your fault. You know, this wouldn't have happened if you hadn't left me with these kids, blah, 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 kind of thing. And somehow alluded to the fact that Athena was no longer with us. That that was my initial thinking reading the probable cause for his murder charge. But now everything's different. None of none of that adds up now. So, like I said, according to what I read, she apparently confessed on the 12th, which is the day that she got arrested. Those charges, what is today? The 17th. So she was arrested five days ago, and those charges have not been amended. They've not been upgraded or anything. So is her charge going to change? Is she going to have one child neglect and one something worse? You know, um, accessory to murder or something like that because she was there she knows what happened and she did nothing there has to be more right i mean i'm not crazy am i there has to be more let me take a look at chat here um yeah ava and and that was the thing too ava said i'll take adina i've already raised one adopted and one bio that's what kills me there's so many people in the world that want kids that can't have kids or even people that can have kids but they want to help these other kids in need and they adopt kids there would have been so many people that would have gladly taken these children gladly taken these children really pale rider where do you live Yeah, Eva, I can plan a wedding, but not raise my kids. It, right? I'm not sure how old they are, Pale Rider. They 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 look fairly young to me. I, I would have to look into that. I don't know that their ages have been given. Actually, I'll look. His birthday is on his document. Oh, Sulphur Springs, Texas. Yeah, I know. It was, um, it's being covered like down in Lawton. I'm sure you know where Lawton is. Um, and places like that. But I've seen it covered here a little bit. Where where I sit, I get news from Oklahoma City and Tulsa. Because I'm kind of like an hour from both. And Oak City has been covering it probably more than Tulsa, but Tulsa's covering it. They're using like their affiliate station out of Oklahoma City's reports. And then Lawton's been covering it and Phoenix, where he got arrested. Um, they covered it. They, they actually did a really good um, news clip. And that's really it. I've seen a few, you know, I'll get a thing like from you know, Fox News or somebody like that and they'll have like a little article and it's basically just what we're being told here, here locally. But for some reason, Oklahoma cases, we, we don't get a lot of coverage. We really don't. And it's sad. But let's take a look on his document and see what his birthday is. The caregiver. The parents, I don't know, but the caregivers, I want to see, they're like in their 30s, I think. So his birthday it looks like it's 86. Is that what that says? 1986. Nope. Odie, hush. Hold on just one second. Get my daughter to let the dog out. He's over here whining and dancing. Let me see. Let me look up. Um, a lot of these Facebook Instagrams have been kind of locked down. 
Let's see. Yeah, she doesn't. The the bio mom doesn't have a an age, but this is this is like the only picture we can find of of bio mom. Obviously, there's a filter on it, but she looks fairly young to me. And then, if I can find bio dad. Oh. Nope. Yeah, he looks fairly young as well. Not like super young, but... Okay, hang on. I'm going to mute the microphone while she lets the dogs out. It's going to get crazy. Um, Ava, I can show you his documents let's see here i don't have hers usually the docket on twitter is amazing with documents like i get stuff from him all the time and i checked on there and i haven't seen anything about this yet come on come on sorry we're having technical difficulties here today um, I don't know if this is where it actually shows his, his charges or not. Oh, that's not enough. I then, yeah, I don't know. Um, you know, I was thinking we probably wouldn't get more until he got back here to Oklahoma, mm. but... If you guys heard about the Oatmulgee 4, when they had to extradite Joe Kennedy, the suspect in, in that case of the quadruple murder that happened in Oatmulgee um, from Florida, they kind of took their sweet time bringing him back. And they've got 30 days to bring this guy back. And I'm hoping it's sooner than 30 days. I hope they get this guy back here soon and we can start this process. He said that... Uh, you know, he needs to get back here and fight this, is what he said. So, I don't know what he thinks he's going to, how he's going to fight it, but I feel like it's going to end up being finger pointing, like a he said, she said kind of thing. I, I totally think this guy's probably going to point the finger at Alicia. He's probably going to be like, nope, wasn't me, it was her, and we're going to have this back and forth kind of thing going on. But sweet thing, Alicia, Miss Beauty Influencer, Queen of TikTok, probably doesn't like sitting in jail. And that may be why she talks so quick. I don't know. Like I said, maybe they offered her a deal. But she absolutely deserves something more than child neglect for this. Because she knew damn well something had happened to her before she took off for her magical weekend with her boyfriend the weekend of what was it the sixth and you know he they, they well they both lied obviously but he said that when he left with his kids to go to Arizona, he had left these two with a grandma. No, the hell you didn't. And you didn't leave two, you left one. Like I said, they're both just acting like everything's fine and dandy. And the boyfriend, Bladen, of Alicia, that she had the magical romantic weekend in Oklahoma City with, said he had no idea. That any of this was going on. So, I mean, she must have not acted like anything was wrong at all. And she had only known this guy like a week. And 
she already like changed her name on her social media you know did like a social media divorce i guess she had you know changed her name wasn't adams anymore and was in love with this guy and apparently her mom was really happy for her being in love with this guy and he was the perfect man and she was just love bombing him all over social media and the whole time she knew athena had been killed she cannot only be charged with child neglect it's wrong So, I don't know. I feel like it probably was Ivan. Haven't had a good feeling about him the whole time. But hearing that it happened at Christmas, you know, I was already mad about this case. You know, my blood was already boiling about this case. And then to hear that, and then know what she had done all weekend, that weekend, and it's what, 10 days later? Yeah, roughly ten a week and a half after Athena's beaten to death and taken out and buried along some fence line. You go out a week and a half later and have a romantic weekend with your new man? Romantic dinners and going to the movies and staying in the hotel all weekend and all this stuff? Come on! No, ma'am. No. I'm going to look and see if I can see if she posted TikToks during that time, I swear. And I bet she did. Yeah, maybe not. Looks like the last one she posted was December 16th, maybe. Hmm. Well, she did get off TikTok, at least. I agree. I agree, Pale Rider. And yes, Paula W. definitely put them in Gen Pop. Both of them. They don't deserve protection. I hope they get treated exactly like they treated Athena. And maybe that makes me an awful person, but I'm sorry. I have no empathy for them. You know, I get it. She had said something on her social media about how this has been like a year from hell or something like that. Well, if you've already got four biological children and you take on two more that aren't yours, I'm sure it's difficult. But if you couldn't have handled it, you should have said something and you should have been like, you need to come and get your kids back or made arrangements with another family member, a grandparent or somebody to take these children off of your hands. This is never the answer. And to sit there and know, even if she didn't watch it happen, she knew it happened. Right? Because he told her where he took her. So she knew. And having that knowledge did nothing to you? You can go out and have a romantic date 10 days later and act like nothing's wrong give no indication to your new man that anything's wrong oh I left the six kids with Ivan and everything's just hunky dory and let's go out and screw I mean what no I mean as mad as I am at Ivan for putting hands on this child and doing that to this child. I am just as mad at her. Like I said, it just, it, you know, it reminds me of a lot of Casey Anthony. 
her daughter was missing for a month and she's staying with her boyfriend and they're going out and renting videos and she's in hot body contest and and getting tattoos and what have you and the whole time your kid's missing and nobody in your circle realizes because you're not acting like anything's wrong i don't know how people can do that you must be completely devoid of all emotion and you must completely lack any small piece of a conscience when one of my kids is deployed or sick or anything people that know me know like i'm i'm off like i'm worried about my kid you know you know i had one kid at one point my one kid was under the ocean in a submarine on one side of the world and i had another one in the air flying to his first base in the navy in japan at the same time i was a freaking wreck i knew they were okay but I got one under the water and one up in the air flying to Japan. And I got one under the water headed to, let's just say, Scotland. But the end goal was somewhere that, you know, no mom really wants your kid to be. And people knew then that, that there was something wrong. Do you think if, if I saw somebody kill my kid or tell me I killed this kid... I know it wasn't her kid, but if someone told me they killed any kid and buried them somewhere, it would bother me, whether it was my kid or if I didn't even know the kid. If somebody comes to me and they're like, yeah, I beat this kid to death and then I went and buried him by the fence, hell no. I couldn't act normal. What person could? Well, apparently Alicia and Ivan Adams can. I'm sorry. I am like really getting off on a tangent here. I'm sorry. But I just, I can't. These kid cases are hard to cover. They're hard to cover. They take a toll on you. And being a mom, it's hard. You know, I mean, my kids are grown. My daughter still lives at home, but, you know, she's 18. She's getting ready to go to college. And my boys are out, you know, one's on the East Coast, one's on the West Coast, and they're married and they've got their lives, but I still worry about them. And if something happened to them, I would be absolutely devastated. And just being a mom makes these cases especially hard to cover. You know, the Idaho Four, I look at them like kids. Because to me, they are kids. And it was hard to cover. But when they're this little, it's very hard. It takes a big toll. And I probably get more invested than I should but I'm very emotional about this stuff and I'm just I'm mad I'm very mad I'm very angry right now but just to read it for you one more time um actually let me see if anybody else has put out any other news station Nope, that's nothing new. Stop it. Nothing new, nothing new, nothing new. What's this? This looks promising. No, no. I've got to find this document. When I do, I will definitely share that with you. Um, yeah, it basically just says the same thing. I'm going to send a message. 
real quick to the docket. Maybe he can chase it down for me. <coughs> Excuse me. I've been sick, y'all. I'm sorry. Hopefully he can find them and get those for us. But uh, I guess for now, I will wrap this up and try to get myself ready. <laughs> Steve wants me to wrap this up. He probably needs me to come help him watch the soap opera. Now the soap opera is almost over. Actually, the new news is getting ready to come on. So let me watch that and see if I can figure out these documents that they have seen if I can get my hands on the documents, I will come back this afternoon and we can go over those. If not, I will be back on probably with just a update about Madalena, which basically isn't much of an update. Um, but yeah, anything new I hear about Athena, I will jump on here. As you can see, as soon as I hear something, I will jump on here whether I'm ready to go or not. So thank you all for listening and learning about this awful update in this case if you could give this a thumbs up it would mean the world to me because it helps push it up in the algorithm of youtube and will push it out for more viewers to see and this definitely needs to be seen by more people because there's people out there that don't even know about this awful case so if you could give it a thumbs up or share it with hashtag athena brownfield i would so appreciate that and also, if you aren't subscribed, if you would smash that subscribe button and click the bell to all so you get notified when I go live about this and any other case I'm covering, I would love that too. We would love to have you here as part of our growing community. And as always, I will see you all in the next one.